Hey guys, I just wrapped up at this call that I'm on right here and I'm on my way to another one where I think it's a heat pump. They said they have no heat. But first, if you're a small business owner like myself, you need to check out the link in the description for Thrive Marketing. They own the real Yellow Pages and that's all the marketing that I do is Yellow Pages ad. But if you own a larger company that wants to interact with their customers in a better way or rank at the top of the Google listings, you need to check them out. They are the preferred vendor for websites for companies like Carrier, ICP, and Samsung, but they can design a website for whatever name brand you sell. They do a good job. Check out the link, guys, and let's get on with this video. He has a 50 amp breaker downstairs that is tripping. I'm thinking it's probably going to be that breaker or something related to it. I'm trying to get a look at that wire. It's aluminum. It looks like number six aluminum. Number six aluminum. That's good for 40 amps. Am I wrong? That's not number four, is it? No. I think that's number six. nowhere got 240 now he says the breaker is tripping and it's getting hot let's oh, what, is, what kind of mess do we have here
Yeah, we got some heat pump. I'm gonna go check that breaker. Put this back on and Most those things were super loose. All right, let's go down and check on that breaker real quick. like number six aluminum and that's in Romex so it's only good for 40 amps and I need a different heat kit as it could be too. Yeah, that's number six aluminum. Oh my word, look at this. How about that? that Terribly loose.
I'm gonna hook this up for now, but I'm gonna try to find a 7.2 kW heat strip uh, heater kit and um, a 40 amp one of these eating breakers. All right, so what I was looking at, this comes out of the Uglies manual, which is straight out of um, the NEC code book, number six, aluminum UF, and that's what um, Romex is, is 40 amps. You know, I'm not, if I get me a 40 amp breaker, that might trip if I have like on. Hmm. Let me see something real quick. Alright, so if I have 7.2, 72, it's gonna be like 30 amps. Let me see if I can get a 7.2 kW heater kit we are back and I've got a it's supposed to be a 7.2 kW heater kit this one has a breaker or so I was told but Ream's going to stop making them with breakers. Which is a shame because they are very useful when you don't have a disconnect. First, I want to make sure I don't have power. <laughs> Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, forgive me, I'm cramping.
that dog you hear in the background is a massive um, rock collar. Oops. I might leave this up here for spare parts. I don't know. I'm going to take it down. I like to leave a clean looking workspace. long extension off See.
somebody down there sounds like they got the flu. This is not needed. That's done. All right, we got that. Oh, 
installed. Let's put turn that on and then we'll turn it on at the breaker once we change the breaker. Change in a fifty four forty. Wait and see if the electric heat comes on. Okay, we got 32 amps on a 40 amp breaker. Doing good. All right, that was an older R22 system. It's been like that for over a decade, but um, that doesn't mean I shouldn't make it right. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch y'all on the next one.